Hi there, this is the first guitar solo to Gene Vincent's Blue Gene Bop. Um, I'm just going to take it, take you through it rather uh, phrase by phrase. I've got it broken down into seven phrases. The tab will be included on the screen and at the end of the video if you want to fast forward to that. Or you can uh, play along. This will probably be in the range of 12 to 15 minutes long after we break it down, uh, break it down through the phrases. So. Let's just get it started. The first phrase is going to be in um, third fret or third position, G position. We're going to be sort of opening the solo off with something that looks like that. So that's going to be B flat, bend to B, then do the G note, the third fret, then play the fifth fret and third fret on the second string. Then fifth fret on the third string, hammer from B flat to B. Then open G, do a pull off from E to D on the fourth string, second to open note. And then back to the fourth string open. Let's listen to how that sounds slow. Gotta remember to keep kind of a swing feel, da 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 da, da that type of thing. Okay, then we're going to go into the next phrase, which is going to look something like that. Okay, so this is based around this third position G shape. So let's look at the shape. We have our index finger at the three of the second string, our uh, middle finger at the 4th fret of the 3rd string, and then we have 5th fret on both the 4th and 5th strings with our ring and pinky finger. So if we look at just the shape, it's going to look something like that. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just arpeggiating through the chord. We're playing individual notes of the chord. So it starts out 5th string, 4th string, 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string. So slow. Okay, and then we're going to... the next pattern so that's going to start on the fourth string play that twice then the third string fourth string sorry it should be so that's fourth string third string fourth string and then second string third string And to end this pattern, we're going to play the D note in the second string, third fret, and then hammer from B to C on the fourth and fifth frets of the G string. Okay, then we're going to go into the next phrase, which is phrase three. Which is going to look like that. So let's take a look there at what we're, what's going on there. We have D, the third fret of the second string, 
D flat, C. So that's three, two, one. Then we're going to the third string, sliding from B flat to um, B. Then open G. Then do a pull off on that fourth string. And the second fret to the open note. And then do the third string open. And then we have this hammer pull combo on the fourth string. Third fret and fifth fret. So hammer from three to five and then pull back off to three. Then we're gonna go to the second position and do the same thing with the second and third frets. And then open D. So let's take a look at what we have so far. Okay, and then we're going to be on uh, sort of a C chord shape. This is phrase four. So he's arpeggiating a C chord starting at the fifth string third fret and slowly vibrating the bar with the pinky or however you want to do that actually. Okay, and then we have a pull off from the second fret to the open note on the third string and then the same thing on the fourth string. Okay, so that's the end of phrase four. Okay, then we go into uh, phrase five, which is gonna look like this. So that's um, gonna be the open G string twice. Slide to the B note on the third string, fourth fret. And then we go to the D note at the third fret of the second string. Do that twice. So two Gs, slide, and then two D notes. Then we're gonna do a slight bend on the first uh, string, sixth fret, and then third fret, fifth fret, third fret. Okay, and then we're at phrase six, which is gonna look like that. So that's gonna be starting um, sort of in what should be looking like a, a familiar pattern now. That's very similar to the opening cadenza we did. So that's a hammer on from the fifth fret to the sixth, third fret on the first string. Five, three, five, hammer from three to four. And then we're gonna go back, do that fifth fret again, third fret, fourth fret, hammer on, open G, pull off from E to D on the second fret, do the open note, fourth string. Okay, and then we're gonna cap it off here with phrase seven. Which is gonna look something like that. So that starts out again on the third string open. Kind of staccato that twice. In other words, cut it short. Then hammer on from three to four. Open G again. And then we're gonna play the third string open, second string open. And then we're gonna be holding this partial G chord, which is the third fret barred on the first two strings and then the fourth fret on the second string. And just kinda 
to sweep that or rake it, whatever you want to call it. And then catch that third fret note again coming up. And then we're going to do a hammer on or slide, either one from the fourth fret to the fifth fret of the A string. All right, so let's uh, let's try to play it from the beginning here. And I'll try to play through it one time slow. So that was the first solo to Blue Jean Bop. Um, good luck with that, and we will see you next time. I'm Harvey Mosteller, signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye.